this video is all about deriving quadratic formula now if a b and c are positive real numbers the quadratic equation a square plus b x plus c is equal to zero they say show that or derive it or show that x is equal to minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac all divided by a now show this so now but before i begin before i continue i want to appreciate my um, subscribers and also my new subscribers and also i want to appreciate my viewers please subscribe like comment and also share the video now if if there is any go through them and make your comments thank you i would like to see your comments now let's begin now the quadratic equation is a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero now for us to do this let's move this plus c to the right hand side so moving it to the right hand side this sign will change to minus so you have a x square plus b x equal to minus c now dividing all through the terms by a you have a x square all over a plus b x all over a is equal to minus c all over a now this we cancel out this you have x square plus b x all over a equal to minus c all over a now to to make the left hand side a complete square what we're going to do is we add what we're going to do we add the coefficient the, we add the half the, the coefficient of x we square the okay let, what let me just explain let me explain what i mean if we add half half of the coefficient of x and square them half of the coefficient of uh, the square of the half of the coefficient of x that is this value if we add it here and here if we add it here here will now becomes a complete square so well, what you do to this other side you must do it to this other side so that the equality sign will remain so now if we, if you add half half of the coefficient of x all squared to both sides you have this to be a complete square because this is a complete square method we are going to we are using so now what we're adding is b all over 2a all squared that's what we're adding on both sides so we're going to add it here now we say x square plus b x all over a plus b all over 2a all squared equal to minus c all over a plus b all over 2a all squared so you know so if you add this value to this this expression here it becomes a complete square that is just halfing halfing you have the coefficient of x you square them you now make this a complete square when the coefficient of x square is 1 here so that is it so that was why i i tried to make the coefficient of x here one so that that's express that's um so that it will work and it will be correct so now so what we're going to do now to make this to express this in complete that is in a complete square form you now you just take x here plus that is a sign here you take the sign here which is plus now then this b all over 2a all squared now if you square this 
you will have this expression up here. So it's equal to minus C all over A plus B all over 2A all squared. So that means we have X plus B all over 2A all squared equal to minus C all over A plus B square all over 4A square. Let's see. Now, if you square this, look at this, this expression. If you say B all over 2A all squared, you have B squared all over here will now be 4 because 2 times 2 is 4. A times A is A squared. So that is what you have. And that is what we're going to use here now. Now you have, so you have this as X plus B all over 2A all squared equal to now, what is the LCM of the denominators? The LCM of the denominators, which is A and 4A square, is 4A square. That is the LCM of the denominator. So, A divides 4A square will give you 4A. 4A times minus C will give you minus 4AC. Then now, if you divide 4A square by 4A square, you have 1. 1 times this, you have 1 times plus b square will give you plus b square. So the whole of this, the whole of this will now be, you now have x plus b all over 2a all squared. Now, we need to kind of interchange the way this is stated. We can just kind of if we interchange it, it will still remain the same. Just if I say b square minus 4ac all over 4a square, it's just the same thing. So now, because plus b square, there is an imaginary plus here. You have you have plus b square minus 4ac. It's just the same thing. So there's no need to dwell on that. So we have b square minus 4ac all over 4a squared. Now, taking the square root of both sides, or I can just say, multiplying, now, if I just rule like this, now, here you have raised to power 1. Now, multiplying the powers by half, half means square root, taking square root of both sides. That is the meaning of half. So take squaring the powers by half. So what we are going to have is x plus b all over 2a all squared. Then you now multiply the powers by half, which is the same thing as saying in this other case, you have b squared, okay, minus 4ac all divided by 4a square now one times one over two i supposed to do i'm not supposed to put this bracket here because i said multiplying the powers by half so i multiply these powers by half so this will still remain the same because they said what since what you did to the right, the left hand side is what you do to the right hand side. So I just multiply the powers. So if you multiply the powers, these two we cancel out these two. Now this one, one times half is half. So now let's go to the next page. Now if it cancel out this, then here you now write it x plus b all over two a is equal to is equal to b square minus 4ac all over 4a squared all raised to power half, which is the same thing as the square root of the all. Uh, anything raised to power half is means the square root. So the square root of b square minus 4ac all divided by 4a squared. So now, from here, according to the law of, according to sod law, 
if you have something like this, the square root of x divided by y is the same thing as saying the square root of x divided by the square root of y. So this expression is the same. Is the same. So now we are going to apply that rule here. We're going to apply that rule. Meaning that this whole thing is equal to the square root of b square minus 4ac divided by the square root of 4a square. So now the square root of 4a square, now you see I apply this rule. If the square root of x all over y is the same thing as the square root of x divided by the square root of y, which is what we did here now. And the square root of the square root of four a square is two a. So that means x plus b all over two a plus x plus b all over two a is equal to. Now you know if you apply square roots, you have plus or minus here. There's a plus or minus sign. So now, so plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. So we have x plus b all over 2a equal to plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac all over so if we move this value to this other side now you know it's positive so if you move it to this side it becomes negative so you have x is equal to minus b all over 2a plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a so since the denominators is the same it means the LCM is the same as the denominator. So if the, the denominators are the same, you add the numerators together. You, you put them together. Just like there is a rule, if you say x all over a plus y all over a, since the denominators are the same, you say x plus y. There is this sign here, all over a. So we are applying this rule here. So we have minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac. So your x is this. So that is done. So now, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And also do well to like, um, to like, make your comments and also share the video. Thank you.